Welcome to the Universal Spirit Sakimori Research Lab. Thank you very much for your visit. In the previous 16th session, we verified the historical facts that Rudolf Steiner's prophecy of the precursor of the coming of the Son of Man in the Bible, which he foresaw would be fulfilled around 1935, was fulfilled by the second Oomoto incident. Also, from the words and actions of Anasaburo Degachi, we considered that he had prepared for all of them, including the demolition of the sect's facilities and going to prison, after prophesying them. And, we deepened our understanding that the fact that Anasaburo Degachi was preparing for the coming of Christ clearly matches the characteristics of Mithraya Bodhisattva shown by Steiner. Furthermore, we briefly mentioned that Anasaburo Degachi had foreseen that Japan would head towards defeat in the war from the time he left prison. So this time, we will start by verifying the evidence that the prophecy of coming following the prophecy of precursor of the coming of the Son of Man in the New Testament has been fulfilled. In Luke 21 Mark 13, Matthew 24, the prophecy titled Coming is recorded after the precursor of the coming of the Son of Man. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by Roman armies, know that its desolation is near. At that time, those in Judea should flee to the mountains. Those in the city should leave. Those in the countryside should not enter the city. This is because it is the day of God's punishment where everything written in the Bible will be fulfilled. They will fall by the sword and will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world. Then at that time, people will see me, the Son of Man, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And in the eleventh session, we discussed the following words. From then on, Onokoro Island has been determined to be the divine worksite for world unification. John and Christ are destined to be reproduced in the northeast of the world, which is God's programming from ancient times. In other words, if the precursor of the coming of the Son of Man was shown in Oomoto, it is thought that this coming may have occurred in Japan. So, where is the place that corresponds to Jerusalem that is trampled on by the Gentiles? The history of Japan clearly proves this. In 1945, Japan, including the capital Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya, Hyogo, and northern Kyushu, was heavily air raided in cities nationwide, and atomic bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, making it very dangerous for those in the countryside to go to the cities. In other words, people living in urban areas of Japan were forced to evacuate to the countryside to avoid air raids, and were told, hurry and flee to the mountains. Those who are in the city, move out. Those in the countryside should not enter the capital. This was the situation in Japan. Also, Japanese soldiers who crossed the continent were detained in Siberia as Russian prisoners of war, and soldiers who headed to the Pacific were scattered on the islands of the South Pacific. Therefore, as the Bible says, they were slain by the sword, or taken captive and scattered among all nations. Furthermore, the mainland was occupied by the GHQ general headquarters of the Allied forces and reached the situation where Jerusalem was trampled on by the Gentiles until the so-called pagan era ended. In other words, all the prophecies of Jesus Christ matched with Japan at that time. The year after the end of the war, at 9 a.m. on March 22, 1946, Anasaburo Degachi spoke about the secret meaning of tales of the spiritual world volumes 39 to 43 as follows. Jerusalem is about Ayabi, and the Kajika River is about Ikarugagun Ayabicho, Ikarugagun, Kyoto, Japan. Also, as we have discussed before, in the postscript of Tales of the Spiritual World, Volume 1, Chapter 24, it is written, John and Christ are destined to be reproduced in the northeast of the world, which is God's programming from ancient times. And later, it is explained as follows. John is the root of the world, the founder now Degachi, and Kunito Kotachi no Mikoto. 
Christ is the Savior of the world, the Anointed One, and Susanuno Makoto. Christ is the role of the Savior. The Christ recorded in Tales of the Spiritual World and Jesus of Nazareth are completely different people. However, what needs to be noted here is that Anasaburo Degachi has stated that the Christ explained in Tales of the Spiritual World and Jesus of Nazareth are completely different people. As we discussed in the 11th session, this can be interpreted anthroposophically as indicating that Susanino Makoto acts as the model of Christ as Mithraya Bodhisattva. This means that neither Susanino Makoto, Mithraya Bodhisattva, nor Christ is the Christ who will return on a cloud. And the northeast of the destiny to be reproduced in the northeast should mean Japan, which is located in the northeast direction where Kunito Kotachi no Makoto retired, and its miniature, Oamoto. From the above, it can be considered that in Japan, Ayabi was Jerusalem and in the world, Japan was Jerusalem. Let's organize the content of the previous and this time. First, as we have been considering in the 16th session, the situation of persecution towards people who believe in Christ, which is the prophecy of the precursor of the coming of the Son of Man in the Gospel, was completely reproduced between Japan and the Oamoto sect. In other words, in the God's programming of Ushitora no Kanjin equals Kunito Kotachi no Makoto of Omoto, the thorough destruction of the sect facilities by the second Oamoto incident, the imprisonment and death in prison of multiple believers, and the confiscation of the sect's land, became the proof of the prophecy of the precursor of the coming. Next, the prophecy of the coming in the Gospel, the situation where the Holy Land Jerusalem is trampled on by Roman people and pagans, was completely reproduced by the occupation of the territory by the GHQ. During World War II, Japan was in a hostile relationship with the United States and Russia, and Japanese soldiers were forced to live a harsh life in Siberia. Furthermore, the Japanese territory was occupied by the GHQ due to the thorough air raids on urban areas by U.S. military aircraft and the worst measures of dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This defeat of Japan became the proof of the prophecy of the coming in the Bible. On April 9, 1944, Anasaburo Degachi spoke about the Pacific War as follows. The current battle in the Pacific is the Battle of Yomo to Hirosaka. The islands in the South Seas are places where the altitude was high on Yomoto Island, which fell into decline in ancient times. This Battle of Yomo to Hirosaka refers to the Battle of the Gods in the Underworld in Japanese mythology. Also, Yamoto Island refers to the ancient continent in the South Pacific that appears in Tales of the Spiritual World. And in the tenth volume of Tales of the Spiritual World, written on February 23, 1922, it is depicted that in this battle of Yomo to Hirosaka, the evil god of the American continent is planning to occupy Yamoto Island. Therefore, it is written that Kunito Kotachi no Makoto started the unprecedented battle with the evil god according to God's programming. Furthermore, this battle is the watershed of the victory or defeat of various gods and people of good and evil, right and wrong, and the great pass of the world refers to this battle. In other words, Anasaburo Degachi had prophesied the Pacific War in tales of the spiritual world. And it was written that in the underworld, it was a great battle between good and evil gods, and it was a great pass in God's programming. Also, in the Oomoto Divine Message, Content implying air raids and atomic bombings against Japan in World War II and operations by the U.S. and Russian armies are often recorded. If I were to paraphrase a part of it to make it easier to understand, it would be roughly as follows. Even if the Kanto region of Japan is clear for a while, it will become a barren place without fruit. If there is no fruit, the nation will not prosper. The spirit of building a promising city in the Kanto region of Japan is so empty. Before the birds fighter planes from the continent come to Japan, God is pre-programming, but it is very regrettable that there are no people who listen to it, but the birds fighter planes from the continent will come to Japan soon. The evil God has been plotting from long ago to rain poison from the sky and exterminate the Japanese people. Because the good God sees through this, he has been warning through now Degachi for a long time. 
If there were a few more understanding spirits, I would have thought of leaving a couple of countries to the evil god, but it seems that there are only too many ugly spirits. There is no choice but to execute according to the god's programming of heaven and earth from ancient times, and purify, otherwise evil will never cease. The more I think about postponing it if there are a few more understanding spirits, the more the evil god of the other country becomes worse. Not only does it look down on Japan, but it is planning a bad conspiracy to ambush Japan and take it over. Therefore, if God does not execute according to the programming in accordance with the spiritual providence, the evil God is thinking of even worse conspiracies. In the past, when China's dynasty attacked Japan, I let only three people return to their country as a warning. However, this time, when foreign countries join hands and attack Japan together, I will not do anything like returning even one person. All foreign soldiers are once drawn to Japan, and then, earthquakes, thunder, and rain of fire are rained down, and it is God's programming to make foreign evil spirits surrender spiritually. From the content of this Oamoto divine message, it is understood that Ushitoru no Kanjin equals Kunito Kotachi no Makoto had already seen through all the foreign plans for Japan to be air raided and bombed, and occupied by foreign soldiers. And in the Bible, before this coming of Christ, it is said that there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and on the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. However, in Japan, particularly in 1945, the following events occurred. April 1945. The Lyrid meteor shower appeared. August 6, 1945. Atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. August 9, 1945. Atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki. August 15, 1945. Japan's defeat. September 1945. 2,473 people died in the Makurazaki typhoon. December 1945. The Ursids meteor shower appeared more than a hundred times per hour and ten years before the atomic bomb was dropped, that is, in 1935, the year of the second Oamoto incident, Anasaburo Degachi, who visited Nagasaki, said, Nagasaki will have a hard time at the end of the war. Furthermore, in the autumn of 1944, the year before the atomic bomb was dropped, Anasaburo Degachi had the following conversation with his disciples. Question, what significance does the word Hiroshima have for the upcoming air raid? Answer, Hiroshima is good now, but it will have a hard time in the end. In the next air raid, it will be the most damaged and turn into a sea of fire. Therefore, he had instructed his followers to evacuate. And on the evening of December 23, 1944, he also said, it seems that by March, we will finally run out of materials. We will go as far as to surrender once. Thus, on August 6, 1945, the following year, the world's first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, and on the 9th, an atomic bomb was dropped on Nagasaki. And six days later, on the evening of August 15, 1945, at the end of the war due to Japan's defeat, Anasaburo Degachi made a profound statement that would normally be considered inappropriate. Unless this happens, this god cannot appear in the world. Today is a celebration, so go and eat your meal. This is supposed to mean the following. In order for God Christ to appear return in the world, Japan, which is Jerusalem, had to be defeated and occupied by foreign countries in order to fulfill the prophecy of Jesus Christ in the Gospel and to prove the existence of God. In fact, Anasaburo Degachi made the following statement during a meeting about a lawsuit for damages in the Omoto incident. The Omoto incident is also a divine work, so it would be better to stop the compensation. In other words, the Omoto incident was not just a history of oppression, but a divine work that was fulfilled according to God's programming. And this miniature mechanism of Ashitoro no Kanjin Kunito Kotachi no Makoto was reflected in the history of Japan and the world six years after the events of Oamoto and Japan. This means that everything was God's mechanism, and as evidence of the fulfillment of Christ's prophecy, it imprinted a remarkable correlation in history that only God can do.
Here, in the miniature mechanism, I would like to verify the phenomenon where the events of Oomoto are transcribed in Japan exactly six years later. First, on July 22, 1934, the Showa Sacred Society was launched at the Military Personnel Hall in Oomoto. The Showa Sacred Society is an organization that Onisaburo Degachi launched as a national spiritual movement aimed at national innovation under the collaboration with National Innovative Forces. This movement resonated with the public, and one year after its establishment, it had 25 regional headquarters, 414 branches, held 2,819 lectures, had a total of 1 million attendees, and reached 8 million supporters. Then, exactly six years later, on July 22, 1940, the second Kono cabinet was formed, and on October 12, the inaugural ceremony of the Imperial Rule Assistance Association, which was established to promote the new system movement, was held at the Prime Minister's residence. However, as the enormous energy of the masses gradually becomes more radical, leaning towards overthrowing the government and breaking the status quo, it naturally comes to the attention of the government. This leads to the outbreak of the second Oomoto incident in the early morning of December 8, 1935, and Onisaburo Degachi is arrested. And then, exactly six years later, in the early morning of December 8, 1941, the Pacific War breaks out between Japan and the Allied Forces of America, Britain, and Australia. Furthermore, on April 18, 1936, the ownership of the Oomoto Holy Land is transferred to Ayabi City and Kamioka City, and related facilities are destroyed. Then, exactly six years later, on April 18, 1942, the first air raid by American aircraft begins in Tokyo, Nagoya, Kobe, etc., and major buildings are burned down. On September 8, 1945, the second Oomoto incident ends with the judgment of the Grand Court. Then, six years later, on September 8, 1951, a peace treaty is concluded in San Francisco, and the Pacific War ends. In other words, what happened within Oomoto, which became a prototype of the world, was happening as an event in Japan exactly six years later. This is all true, and it has been a miracle that has been attracting attention among researchers of Onisaburo Degachi for some time. Next, regardless of the date or period, there are also phenomena with correlations between Oomoto and Japan that appear. Next, the two holy lands of Ayabi City and Kamioka City, which were severed in the second Oomoto incident, are unconditionally returned to Oomoto. Then, this event is also reflected in Japan, and the GHQ occupying forces ended up without annexation without dividing or occupying Japan's territory. In this way, Japan, which was defeated in World War II, was neither divided nor colonized. This correlation shows that God's program in the spirit world exists and that the miniature mechanism in Oomoto was reflected in Japan. Also, this miniature mechanism by Ushitoru no Kanjin equals Kunito Kotachi no Makoto has been verified from various angles afterwards. As shown in this figure, it is said that the period when Onisaburo Degachi was imprisoned in the second Oomoto incident and the period when Japan was occupied by the Allied forces also match. Also, from the law that what happened in Oomoto will happen in Japan six years later, it has been found by past researchers that the period of the second Oomoto incident and the period of the Pacific War also match as nine years and nine months. This is something that is impossible by human means and it is as Ushitoru no Kanjin predicted, and we have to admit that it is God's programming. This miniature mechanism of God clearly proves that the prophecy of Jesus Christ has been fulfilled. At the same time, by showing evidence that humans can never achieve, it reveals to the whole world that God exists. Also, for this to happen, Oomoto had to be oppressed, and Japan had to be occupied by pagans. In other words, the prophecy in the gospel that people will see me, the Son of Man, coming in a cloud with great power and glory was proven in the physical world by Japan's defeat. This should also be related to the following prophecy of Steiner. 
Clairvoyant consciousness always finds Christ in his etheric body. As humanity evolves in this way, humans will experience the event of Damascus. This ability will appear from 1930 to 1940. If we do not blindly pass this point, we will be able to reach Christ. This is what is called the second coming of Christ in the secret school. A new era is coming, and that era will last for 2,500 years. People will ascend to Christ through anthroposophical views. In the first half of the 20th century, Christ will come again. And then, Christianity will deepen and develop. In this way, with the advent of Christ in the etheric world, a path has been opened for humanity to experience Christ again in the etheric world over the next 2,500 years. On the day of the end of the war, Anasaburo Degachi wrote God Lord of Heaven, and on August 21, 1945, he spoke about it as follows. I wrote God is Lord of Heaven because even if Christianity comes, it's the same God, so even if the name is different, it's the same God, so I wrote it so that I don't have to explain it to make it easy to understand. In other words, the God of Christianity and the God of Oamoto are the same God. This was a natural consequence for Anasaburo Degachi, who was an advocate of the same root of all religions. Also, on October 11, 1945, he wrote God Lord of Heaven on a strip of paper and is reported to have said, if I write this, it's okay if the US military comes. Furthermore, on October 18, 1945, he inscribed Great God of Heaven Moritsumiya Sumumikami as a divine object. From this, it can be felt that this great God of Heaven that Anasaburo Degachi marked at the end of the war may indicate Christ who has returned to the etheric world. The reason why Anasaburo Degachi wrote that God is the Lord of Heaven, and said that it is the same as the God of Christianity, is also recorded in Tales of the Spiritual World. At the beginning of the universe, there was a strange and subtle thing that was hard to describe as either steam or smoke. This thing, over the course of nearly a billion years, became a kind of formless, silent, colorless spirit. This is called the Great Spirit of the Universe. In our scriptures, it is called Amenamina Kanusi the Creator God in Japanese mythology or Amenamini no Kami a God in ancient Japanese documents, in Buddhist scriptures it is called Amitbhatathagata, in Christianity it is called God or Zeus, in I Ching it is called Taiji, in China it is called Tianzhu, or simply indicated by the word heaven. In some countries, it is also called the creator or the creator of the world. The spiritual virtue of this Amenamina Kanusi gradually permeates the universe, becomes refined, and finally completes the spirit, power, and body, and is the God who completed the myriad things of the universe which is without beginning or end, infinite and absolute. Also, this god is called Big Kuniharudachi no Makoto Big Kunido Kotachi no Makoto, and is referred to as Miroku Daishin. In Tales of the Spiritual World, Big Kuniharudachi no Makoto means Big Kunito Kotachi no Makoto, and both the god of Christianity and Big Kunito Kotachi no Makoto are divine names that indicate the creator god who completed the universe. Steiner speaks about the existence of Christ in Anthroposophy as follows. In the mysteries, the existence of Christ was always known. The seven sages of ancient India called Christ Vishvakarman. Zoroaster named the existence of Christ Ahura Mazda. In Egypt, the existence of Christ was called Osiris. The Jewish people called the existence of Christ Yahweh. And in the fourth cultural period, this being lived on earth for three years. Then comes the Greco-Latin cultural period. It is before the 8th, 7th, and 6th centuries of the mystery of Golgotha. People no longer see the secret of the sun. What people saw was only what was shown as the work of the sun around the earth. What people saw was only the work of the sun in the ether that fills the space around the earth. What spreads around the earth as ether, the initiates of Greece called Zeus. In this way, Anasaburo Degachi advocates the unity of all religions from the Creator God, and Steiner explains the recognition of the unity of all religions from the existence of Christ, and as we verify each one concretely, we can find many matches. Furthermore, 
there is a key hidden there to solve the mystery of the prophecy of the fig tree in the Bible. However, in order to do that, a lot of verification by comparison is necessary, so I hope to introduce it on another occasion. And this is an extremely important recognition that leads us to the conviction that the one Creator God has been spoken of in different times, in different regions, by different people, in different words, in different expressions, and as different religions. And to illustrate this, Ashitorino Kanjan wrote the following in Fudsaki. The water of the small streams in the valleys also goes to the great river, a mechanism to become one at the end. Japan is a divine country, rolling up the world into one and ruling it with one king. This one king should be the great god of heaven that Onisaburo Degachi inscribed. In conclusion, in episode 17, we have examined how the prophecy of Christ's coming, following the precursor of the coming of the Son of Man in the New Testament from episode 16, was fulfilled by the God's programming, which is impossible by human means, and became a proof of the actual existence of Christ. In the next episode, we will explore the scene of Christ's advent in spirit world communication and the spiritual background of the Japanese people at that time, which Steiner talked about. Thank you very much for watching until the end. We appreciate your continued support.